It involves a coordinated approach to supporting the boys that come here to Brisbane Grammar School. It's an important part of our uh, work. We've developed a uh, wellbeing development plan and in that plan there are three main areas that we focus on. The first one is our actual wellbeing structure, so how we support boys on a daily basis. It's both tiered and longitudinal so that we can individualise our program for each boy in the school. The second part is our wellbeing curriculum which is an academic course that runs uh, each Monday which covers a range of important topics for the boys. And the third one is uh, what we call wellbeing experiences, a whole range of different options that expose kids to a whole range of different immersion type practices, so public purpose program, outdoor education, just to name a few. Uh, it's important for all adolescents, so uh, it's important for our boys, the same as it is for important for girls that attend the school next door, the same as it is for any adolescent person coming through. It's a, it's a challenging time for uh, kids of this age. Our approach is that we want to work at connecting them to the school. Belonging is the most important characteristic that helps kids manage the stress, the anxiety, the depression that sometimes goes with adolescent development. We do that through creating opportunities for them to be involved and connect with the school. One of the things that we know is that boys that belong uh, perform better academically, have better adolescent uh, resilient skills and are better at uh, managing conflict situations with others. So working at that is really important. Uh, we monitor that closely, so we collect data each year uh, to monitor where each of the year, grade, year levels are and then as a result of that we then develop a series of recommendations to address any issues that are found throughout the year. I mentioned earlier that we had a wellbeing development plan. Uh, at the core of that development plan uh, is the statement of, of our graduate, uh, thoughtful and confident young man of character. So the experiences that we offer to the boys is about shaping that outcome. So there are large numbers of experiences that exist um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but also some significant experiences that occur. So we run an outdoor education program for years five to 10, public purpose program for year five to 12. We have a series of immersion programs. Our year 10s go to Cambodia, our year 11s and 12s have access to an indigenous immersion. And the focus on each of those is around developing the ability to brief and debrief. So focusing on reflective practice, because reflective practice is a really important tool to developing a boy's understanding and growth point, uh, and of course trying to track back then to what we're trying to achieve with the graduate. Our real growth in this area is around student voice. And so we've developed a student representative body, which is important, but we also, um, our year 12, each tutor group meets with the headmaster and has lunch um, in the first semester to collect feedback from them on how the school is going. We run a social entrepreneurial program, a wonderful program called Learn to Lead, which is a practice-based program. So we run a learning, a leadership curriculum, right? But this is where kids in the middle school, right, and as a first, year student in the senior school get to practice some of those. Uh, there is also a, a significant transition program that exists in the school. We run a series of external speakers coming into the school as well, so we cover uh, key areas, e-safety, gaming, uh, pornography, um, are three of the ones that we cover, drugs and alcohol for the older boys as well. Um, we run a series of presentations on each of those for parents as well. We've developed a uh, program to monitor sleep patterns because we know that sleep is an incredibly important mental wellbeing protective factor. And so we've done two whole school sleep surveys and then we use that information when developing kids' learning plans here at the school. Uh, in the teacher dashboard that allows us to track students individually, we have an individual section titled Student Voice where all of the information regarding their specific sleep is uh, is covered so teachers have access to that type of information which is really